Welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today I'm talking about one of the more interesting cordless vacuums out there, the Recar Superlight Cordless R10CV. We put it through all of our usual tests and I was blown away with the various results. And in many ways, I think the Recar Superlight is the best cordless vacuum I've tested yet, though it does have some drawbacks to be aware of as well. And this is not a sponsored review, by the way. I bought this myself and I'll give you the good news as well as the bad news. Recar is a high-end brand that you might not have heard of unless you you visited an actual vacuum cleaner store before because Recar is only offered through those stores. You can buy them on Recar's website, which I'll link below, though technically they still route that order through a local store. The Superlight R10CV is Recar's cordless vacuum model, and it's my favorite kind of cordless vacuum in that it's modeled after an upright vacuum instead of a stick vacuum, which has many advantages in my opinion, as we will see. So starting off with the pros, the first thing that blew me away was its power. We tested its airflow at the floor head and found that it had 57 CFM of airflow, which is more than any cordless vacuum I've tested to date, beating the previous champion, the Dyson V11, by almost 15%. This power showed up on the deep clean test where we embed 100 grams of sand into medium pile carpet and weigh the bag before and after, and it scored a perfect 100%, which while I have seen a perfect 100 two times before, it still pretty rare for a cordless vacuum, and the Recar Superlight seemed to have no trouble at all with it. It also did really good with the crevice pickup test, picking up the debris from the eighth inch and quarter inch crevices in just one pass. But before I can really explain why I think the Recar Superlight is so great, I need to discuss its battery life numbers. Recar says that it can get 50 minutes of runtime on a single charge, and we tested it at about 57 minutes, which by itself is a pretty amazing number. To give you some context, the best single battery charge I know of besides this is the Dyson V11 at about 66 minutes. So it sounds like the Dyson V11 has better battery life numbers, right? Well, let's take a look. The runtime of a cordless vacuum is mostly based on how powerful the vacuum is in a given setting, as well as what kind of attachment it's using at the time. And in the Dyson V11's case, it only got that 66 minutes in low power. And we tested the Dyson V11's low power airflow at about 23 CFM at the cleaner head. Now, the Recar doesn't have different power settings like low or high, it just has one setting. But remember, it had an incredible 57 CFM of airflow at the cleaner head in that one setting. The Dyson V11 can only get close to that 57 CFM on its max power mode, which is not really practical to use for whole house cleaning, since in max mode, the Dyson's runtime is reduced to only about nine minutes. That drop in airflow on low power also affects the deep clean test. For example, on low power, the Dyson V11 only got around 86% of the debris, not the 100% that it got in max mode. So I know all of that was a bit complex, but the point is that the Recar not only is the most powerful cordless vacuum vacuum I know of, and one of the very few that can boast near-perfect carpet deep clean results, but it can sustain that power for much, much longer than most of its competitors. So how does it get all that battery life, and why doesn't every manufacturer just do that as well? Well, there are a lot of answers to that, but the main thing is that the Recar Superlight is modeled after an upright vacuum and not a stick vacuum. Stick vacuum manufacturers need to be super careful about the size of the battery that they use because it's attached to the handle, which means that you're going to carry the weight of that battery on your forearm and the weight of those cordless stick vacuums on your forearm has been a major complaint of mine since the beginning, since I feel that they're too heavy on the arm, at least for cleaning larger areas. So the point is that Recar was able to put a fairly big, almost two pound battery on their vacuum, since the weight of the battery is carried on the vacuum base and only a minimal amount of that is transferred to the handle. In fact, the handle weight on the Recar is significantly less than any stick style cordless vacuum, which is a pro all by itself. Its pickup ability was excellent on carpet and hard floors for the most part, on carpet, it was able to tackle all types and sizes of debris from fine to extra large. It did have a slight blind spot due to the shape of the plate on the bottom, but nothing major. It even did pretty good with up to seven inch human hair with only minimal tangles, which I was not expecting, though I do think that seven inches is pretty much the limit. I only tested it on a low and pretty thick medium pile carpet, but there are attachments you can buy in case you have a particularly long pile carpet as well. For hard floors, it had a squeegee, which means that it can vacuum debris off of hard floors without scattering 
it, and it did really excellent with fine to medium-sized debris on hard floors, though there was an issue with extra-large debris, which I'll talk about in the con section. The Recar Super Light is a bagged vacuum that comes standard with a self-sealing HEPA bag, so it passed all of our filtration tests with no issues, so that's a major pro in my book. It has a really nice chrome steel brush roll with interchangeable bristles and a polycarbonate base plate, all of which are fairly premium features. One of the benefits of buying Recars locally is it has a really good warranty and service plan. It has a four-year warranty on the vacuum, two years on the battery, and it has a service plan, which I don't entirely understand, but it seems like you get two free checkups. Okay, so moving on to the cons. The first and major thing is the price. It retails on Recar's website for $799, though you can usually work a deal out with your local vacuum store to get that price down just a little bit. The next thing is that because that floor head is designed for a great seal on carpets, its gates for allowing larger debris are a little lower than I like to see. Basically, anything bigger than a Cheerio could not be picked up on hard floors. Remember, it had no trouble with Cheerios or even Fruit Loops on carpet, but with hard floors, there's less give in the surface, so it makes a difference. This is also a bit of a problem since there's no hose or wand, which I really wish they would have added because, number one, you don't have an option for those larger pieces on hard floors. You just need to pick it up or sweep it up. Number two, not having a hose means you can't use attachments of any kind with it, which is a bit of a shame, especially because Ricard makes some pretty cool attachments with their other vacuums. So it does limit the usefulness of this otherwise excellent machine. Another thing is that while it was really easy to use and very light, I would have preferred a swivel on the head for a bit more maneuverability in tight spaces. So even with all that in mind, I stand by my earlier statement that the Recar Superlight R10 cordless vacuum is the best cordless vacuum I've tested so far, at least in terms of power, battery life, deep cleaning ability, and ease of use in terms of weight. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars to keep up with all the latest vacuum cleaners, robot vacuums, and more. Thanks for watching.